We already discussed about the approach we can take when writing tests, given when then. We already saw when and then in action, however, we skipped given. This time we use all three. We completed store and we can continue with show. Again, the process in TDD is to create the test first and then continue from there. The test this time is called can return a product. Okay, so this is what we are going to test. Of course, we need the add test to make this a test. Okay, and I will write down the three steps approach. So given, when, and then. Now, in order to display a product, we should already have a product available. In this test, can create a product, we verify that we can create a product. However, we are not going to copy and paste the code we have here to this test in order to create a product again, because the creation of the product is already tested in this test and there is no need to do it again here. So we have to take a different approach. What we can do is to open testcase.php and create a create function. I cannot do that. Okay, so public function create. So this is going to take the model name, so string model and some, some optional attributes. So array attributes. By default, this is empty. Okay. So this is going to create resources for us according to the model that we pass. To make this happen, we also use model factories. So now we can say product equals to factory and we can use now the model that we pass create and we pass the attributes if we have any. Because we make use of API resources, it is a good idea to convert this product to, to a product resource. So return new product resource and we pass the product. Okay, we have to import this. So use app HTTP resources product product resource. Okay, now this is done, so we can close this, uh, this test case. And we can make use of this inside our given, so product equals to this create, and we want to create a product. Remember that this is the model name, so the model name is right inside the app. So as you can see, the name of the model is product and this is the exact same name. Okay, so now we create uh, resources. In our case, we create a product. There is no need to, to have this code because what we could do is to actually take this code and we could use the response get content to get the ID and then we could pass the ID to the endpoint to grab the product. But we are going to see this later. There's no need to, 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 to actually copy this code and use this code. No need for that. We can just use model factories in order to create a product. So what is missing right now is the factory to create the model. So database. Okay, so I will just copy the code from the user and create one for the product. Right, paste, delete the comments. Okay, so this is now product. I will save the name because we need the name for the slag. So name. Okay, and the slag is str slag. We pass the name. For the price, again, we can take uh, a random integer from 10 to 100. Okay, so we close this now, we close this as well. So once again, given we have a product available, when we make a GET request, so response equals to this JSON, this is now a GET request. 
the endpoint is API products and I need the double quotes okay and we pass the ID of the product so when we make uh, a get request to this endpoint we expect a product back for now I will just assert that we get a 200 so assert status 200 okay I will run the test and as you can see we get a 404 and the reason we get a 404 is because the endpoint the route does not exist and same is for the for the show action so let's do that api.php I will just copy this this is get we need the ID for this show okay so this is the route now inside the controller we can create the show action okay there is no need for a request however we have the ID okay and then we have to find the product so product equals to product find or fail and we pass the ID there is no need for a status code because by default the status code is 200 okay now if I go back run the test again now it returns green so the command that I use in order to run the tests is this one so what this command does is that it runs the whole test class so when I run this command you can see that two tests pass not one two in the next video we are going to see how we can run one single test so for example if you want to test just this uh, this test case there is a filter that you can apply in order to test just this test case so there is no need to run all the tests inside your class we can test the exact json response that this endpoint returns okay so let's do that assert exact json so we assert that we get the ID and the ID is the product ID, the name, the product name. Let me copy this. Okay. So we have the slag, we have the price, and we have the created at. However, I will include one more. I will include the updated at created and updated should be strings okay okay so now if I run the test again as you can see it fails because this is what we expect and this is what we get so we expect updated at and updated at of course is not part of the product resource so if you go to product resource you can see that we do not return the updated ad so this is why it complains this is why this fails so if we get rid of the updated ad and we run the test again you can see that the test passes let's explain this test one more time so given that we have a product when we make a get request using the product id we expect the product to have an id name slack price and created ad with status code 200 now what about the case when a product is not found in the controller we use find or fail so if it cannot find the product it will display a 404 so we expect a 404 so let's create the test I always prefer to have the tests that uh, describe a 404 or an exception before the ones that actually return some result so this returns a result so what I'm going to do is to have it here so public so this is going to be a different one of course so will fail with a 404 if product is not found for this case we do not need a, a product so we can continue with the response equals to this json get oops okay now the endpoint is api products and the id 
should be an ID that will never exist. So the ID that I can use here is minus one. This is not going to exist. And for the assertion, we can assert that the status is 404. Okay. As you can see, all the tests pass. If I change this to 200, for example, we expect 200 according to the test. However, we receive a 404 because the product does not exist. And this actually makes sense for this test case. Excellent.